two years ago, I got um, fillers in my lips. Um, here and welcome back to my channel today's video is gonna be a little bit different I I think I say that in all my videos so none of them are the same anyway anyways we are on our way to Miami plastic surgery um, so today I am getting tear drop 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 Teardrop. No, teardrop. Tear it's D R O U G H, I think. Teardrop. Whatever. I'm getting my under eyes filled in. Um, they are, it's kind of hereditary in my family. They're very, very dark and they have lost skin. Um, so they're, they're sunken in a little bit and then right here in between my brows because Lord knows I have a huge wrinkle. I've had it for a really long time. Like I think even when I was a teenager. Exit right. Because I, I squint a lot like this. <laughs> so that caused wrinkling. So don't do that. So I'm going to catch you guys when we are at the doctor's office and you guys can hopefully I'm gonna make sure it's okay, but you guys can hopefully come along for the ride. Catch you later. Guys, we are here at the office. Getting ready. <laughs> you come on, like the devil spawn. a good year or longer so it's not something that you have to do frequently on it but it looks perfectly flat and smooth okay so as this product softens up over the next week or so these lines will continue to improve as well but they're stretched out to capacity so okay. that means it's full it's completely full but you don't have any bumps or anything it looks good okay good good <laughs> okay on to the next <laughs> all right so let's take a look at your under eyes this is common um how old are you? 31. All right, once you hit 30, it's a magic number. <laughs> we start to lose fat in certain places, so by me putting a little bit of product in this area, it's just gonna lift up the tissue to help make everything look like a smoother transition. So we're gonna pick up here, and we're gonna pick up there. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna start on this side. Okay, you can close your eyes. And you're gonna feel me press really firm. One, two, three. Does that hurt? No. So look up. So see how now you can see the difference between this little hollow here and how this is nice and slow. Cool, huh? <laughs> For people who watch these videos and stuff, it's always nice to see it in real, real life because, um, you know, sometimes you see videos and stuff and it makes it look very glamorous. But yeah. when you stick the skin with a needle, you know, there's, you, you know, there's always going to be risk for bruising and bleeding. Yeah, I bruise very easily, so I'll probably get bruises. Well, they'll be like little tiny ones. Like that's about as big as that bruise is gonna get. You know, you'll have like a little mark right there, or you'll okay. have a little needle stick there. It shouldn't be super black and blue. You know, okay. that's from being either. But I can still put makeup and everything. Oh yeah, everything okay. like normal. What's great about this product is it's very soft. Um, it's Restylane Refine. Comes okay. in this one cc syringe. There, you can see we've used actually not even half of the syringe. So we, we may have extra to cover some of the other areas you wanted to do. Okay. 
Yeah, a little goes a long way. You know, when you see people that they look super <laughs> distorted or they don't look like themselves, that's mm -hmm. because they're using a lot of product. Really strong. Like, I would treat what I have with Botox because when I'm there, it's, it's flat. So mine would be more Botox for the muscle movement, whereas hers was more just to fill in where she had actual creases that were there. So I different... squint a lot, so mm -hmm. would you advise me to get Botox later on? I'm always like... Yeah, maybe later. Weight. Like if you find... Like the good thing is that this is now giving you structural support there. So you can oh. squint as much as you want to. <laughs> and now you have this substance that's sort of there giving resistance. Whereas if we wouldn't have done this and you would have done Botox, you may still be unhappy with this area. Okay. You know, so sometimes mm -hmm. we do one, sometimes we do the other, and then on other occasions we'll do both. So see how the product kind of swells up under the skin? And then I let go and I just sort of mold it down. And that's what's great about this particular product. These are going to last, okay, so in this particular area, if I were to put this product in her lips, she'll get about nine months to a year. But because of where I'm sticking it, these areas don't tend to break down as quickly, so she'll get a good year here, and maybe even up to two years in this area here. Okay, so open your eyes, let's look straight in. So it's a little distracting because you see the stick marks and the redness and everything, but... This is also a good choice for this area, this particular product. It's super soft. You don't need much. Hmm. I hate it because when I put my makeup, like I see it. Yeah, it'll settle in there. You'll always have a little remnant there, but mm -hmm. this, see how it just pops up as I put that in there? There's no way to like prevent laugh lines. Don't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. looks dark here because of the bruising, but as far as tissue goes, you're nice and full. We did your expression lines. Okay. These are completely gone. Mm -hmm. And so give the product just some time to kind of do its job. It's a hyaluronic acid, so it's going to increase um, and absorb water. Okay. So keep yourself hydrated, drink lots of water, and just enjoy. Perfect. That's it, you're going to be good for a year.